Across the globe, countless destinations draw visitors for their natural splendor, cultural landmarks, or historical significance. However, amidst these celebrated locales lies a hauntingly infamous site in Japan, a place where the dark shadows of despair linger among the trees. Welcome to the Okagara Forest, often referred to as the Suicide Forest of Japan, a name that whispers of tragedy and sorrow. Situated at the base of the majestic Mount Fuji, this woodland realm stands as a chilling testament to the human psyche's darkest depths. Unlike conventional tourist spots, the Okigahara Forest is not celebrated for its scenic vistas or recreational activities. Instead, it holds a somber distinction as one of the world's foremost sites for suicide. In a heartbreaking reality, it ranks second only to the iconic Golden Gate Bridge of San Francisco, California as a site where individuals choose to end their lives. Unfortunately, this is not a joke but a stark reality concealed within the enchanting yet foreboding confines of Japan's Oakigahara Forest, located less than two hours away from Tokyo, the bustling capital city of Japan. The forest nestled northwest of the majestic Mount Fuji, Aokigahara Forest spans an extensive area of approximately 35 square kilometers. Its dense foliage earns it the nickname Sea of Trees, where navigating its labyrinth and paths is perilous, as the thick vegetation renders escape nearly insurmountable. Situated on the northwestern slopes of Mount Fuji, the Aokigahara Forest encompasses approximately 30 square kilometers of dense woodland, forming an integral part of the iconic Mount Fuji and the surrounding Fuji Five Lakes region. Known as the Blue Tree Meadow in translation, this lush expanse of greenery is so densely packed with foliage that it has earned the moniker Sea of Trees and Jukai among the Japanese, reflecting the intricate maze of verdant growth that characterizes the landscape. Navigating through its labyrinth and trails that can easily lead one astray, swallowed by the enveloping greenery. Conveniently located just a two-hour drive west from the bustling metropolis of Tokyo, the Aokigahara Forest lies upon a foundation of volcanic rock. Its origins trace back to a cataclysmic eruption of Mount Fuji in the year 864, and throughout a millennium, the once barren expanse of hardened lava transformed into a dense forest shrouded beneath the shadow of the snow-capped volcano. Within the heart of this suicide forest, the tree takes on a life of their own, their gnarled roots twisting and turning in organic patterns that weave a tangled web across the forest floor. So densely packed are these arboreal sentinels that sunlight and wind struggle to penetrate the thick canopy above, casting the forest floor into perpetual shadow. Eerily reminiscent of scenes from a horror film, the Aokigahara forest exudes an aura of unsettling silence. Its rocky terrain and porous surfaces absorbing sound waves and rendering their air hushed and still. Despite its forbidding atmosphere, the forest harbors a network of underground caves waiting to be explored by intrepid visitors, including the renowned Narasawa Ice Cave, Fukagu Wind Cave, and Lake Saibat Cave. While the density of the forest limits the diversity of its wild population, a variety of resilient mammals have made their home amidst the tangled undergrowth. From the elusive Asian black bear to the diminutive Japanese mole, and from the graceful deer to the cunning fox, a host of creatures navigate the shadowy depths of this enigmatic landscape. Above, the forest canopy plays host to an area of avian species, including the melodious willow tit, the industrious great spotted woodpecker, and the elusive bush warbler, among others adding a symphony of sounds to the otherwise silent forest floor. Many intriguing stories swirl around the Aokigahara Forest's dark reputation as Japan's suicide forest, and one of the most compelling tales traces back to a group of Buddhist monks. Seen as a sacred place surrounding the revered Mount Fuji, this forest holds deep spiritual significance. For generations, certain monks ventured into its depths to undertake an incredibly tough form of meditation, surviving solely on tree leaves and bark for a thousand years. After this long period, they would either bury themselves underground or continue meditating without food until they passed away. Their goal was to achieve Sukushin Butsu, a state akin to mummification while still alive, transcending the physical realm. Surprisingly, archaeologists have discovered the preserved remains of 18 such monks hidden within Aokigahara, now displayed as revered artifacts across Japan. Another local legend adds to the forest's mysterious allure, focusing on Yurai, the vengeful ghost of Japanese folklore. 
Many spiritualists believe Aokigara is haunted by these spirits, whose dark influence traps visitors in despair, sometimes driving them to end their own lives. The frequency of such tragedies has led to widespread beliefs in paranormal activity within the forest depths. Another story speaks to the forest's eerie ability to confound those who enter, with rumors of modern technology filling within its bounds. Compasses spin widely, influenced by the magnetic forces of the volcanic rock beneath the forest floor. This phenomenon attributed to varying iron content and magnetic strength across the landscape makes navigation perilous for the unprepared. Similarly, mobile devices falter under the dense canopy, leaving the most and lost wanderers unable to call for help. Many who venture into Eokigahara find themselves disoriented, their fates sealed by the unforgiving wilderness or the hungry jaws of its inhabitants. Moreover, Eokigahara Forest is steeped in legend, believed by some to be inhabited by Yurai, or spirits of deceased, according to Japanese folklore. Official records document the discovery of approximately 105 bodies within the forest in 2003, many of which were found in advanced stages of decomposition or preyed upon by wildlife. Local spiritualists speculate that the forest trees have absorbed the despair of the suicides, manifesting in paranormal phenomena. Furthermore, the forest's specular characteristics confound modern technology. Magnetic iron deposits resulting from volcanic soil in the area disrupt compass functionality, leading to erratic readings. Mobile phones likewise fail to receive signals within their confines. Thus, exiting the forest proves exceptionally challenging as navigational aids falter amidst its mistake. In accordance with local customs, forest workers retrieve the bodies of suicide victims and transport them to a designated room at the nearby forest police station. This ritual is performed out of the belief that leaving the deceased unattended invites misfortune, with spirits purposely lamenting and agitating throughout the night. Despite its grim reputation, Aokigahara Forest draws hikers and thrill-seekers seeking to behold the splendor of Mount Fuji from its vantage point. Visitors, cognizant of the forest's dangers, equip themselves with plastic tape as markers to navigate its intricate trails. Remarkably, the forest holds ancient trees, some surpassing three centuries in age, adding to its allure. Before embarking on a journey to Aokigahara Forest, one must exercise caution and prudence. Awareness of the forest's somber history and spiritual resonance is imperative. Additionally, preparedness, including the provision of navigational aids and adherence to marked trails, is essential for safe exploration. In essence, Aokigahara Forest epitomizes a convergence of natural beauty and profound tragedy. It serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing our loved ones. As visitors tread its hallowed grounds, may they heed the solemn admonition inscribed at its entrance and cherish the precious gift of life bestowed upon them. Over the years, the perception of suicide within Japanese society has undergone a significant shift. Previously regarded as a personal issue, Japan's alarmingly high suicide rate prompted a re-evaluation by the government, leading to increased efforts in suicide prevention through public awareness campaigns. Since as early as 1970, authorities, volunteers and journalists have conducted annual body searches within the Aokigahara forest. Regrettably, with each passing year, the grim tally of discovered bodies continued to rise, amplifying negative publicity surrounding the forest. Recognizing the detrimental impact of this coverage, around 2011, the Japanese government ceased publicizing the number of bodies found in Aokigahara Forest, aiming to mitigate sensationalism and foster a more constructive dialogue in suicide prevention. In response to the escalating crisis, concerted initiatives have been implemented to address the issue of suicide, both nationwide and specifically within Aokigahara Forest. Trained personnel and volunteers are now stationed within the forest to identify and assist visitors exhibiting signs of distress. Furthermore, the installation of security cameras and the prominent display of informational messages, including helpline numbers, at the forest entrance have proven instrumental in deterring suicide attempts. These proactive measures have yielded tangible results, as evidenced by a decrease in the number of suicides within the forest. According to data from 2010, out of over 200 attempted suicides, only 54 were confirmed. Through these multifaceted approaches, authorities aim to foster a supportive environment that prioritizes mental health and encourages individuals in crisis to seek assistance. By addressing the underlying factors contributing to suicide and promoting access to mental health resources, the hope is to cultivate a society 
where lives are valued and preserved. In conclusion, the suicide forest of Japan with its haunting beauty and tragic history stands as a poignant reminder of the complexities of human existence. From the dense foliage and eerie silence to the stories of ancient monks and vengeful spirits, Aokigahara Forest captivates the imagination while shedding light on the darkest corners of the human psyche. If you found this exploration of the suicide forest of Japan insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.